Hello, I'm Chris Byrne and welcome to Poker Room Review, your guide to live poker rooms all across the world. In each episode, we review a live poker venue, discussing the important things you need to know when planning your next poker destination. For each venue, we review a range of characteristics, including location and access, game options, service and experience, and rake and rewards. We also discuss the rules, quirks, and issues relating to each location. Today, we are at Newport World Resorts in Manila, the Philippines. The Philippines is an exotic tropical archipelago comprising over 7,000 islands in the Western Pacific Ocean. Newport World Resorts is a full entertainment complex with a poker room in the non-smoking grand wing floor of the casino. It usually has up to around 10 cash tables running with dozens more accessible during major tournament series. Category one, location and access. Newport World Resorts is located right next to Manila's Airport Terminal 3. There is a pedestrian access bridge connected to the terminal, meaning you can collect your bags and walk from arrivals right to Newport Boulevard and into the casino. A large number of major airlines land at Terminal 3, including Singapore Airlines, Qatar, Delta, Emirates, Cathay Pacific, and many more. The pedestrian bridge can be tricky for first-time travelers, however. It's located at the top floor of the arrivals terminal behind one of the food courts. If you have trouble locating it, just ask one of the airport staff and they'll point you in the right direction. But even if you arrive at another terminal, Newport World Resorts is just a short taxi ride away, costing no more than eight US dollars maximum in transfers. Newport Boulevard has a boggling array of choice when it comes to accommodation options. From arc market hotels, including the Marriott, Hilton, and Acura, to more budget-friendly choices like the Holiday Inn, the Belmont, or Savoy, all these are within easy walking distance of the venue. For those wanting an Airbnb, there are many residential resort condominiums available, located all along the boulevard. There is no poker room more easily accessible for an overseas visitor when first arriving in the Philippines. There aren't many poker rooms out there where you can be sitting at the tables within minutes of clearing customs. Five stars. Two, game options. Game options are a bit of a mixed bag. Live cash games run 24 seven on weekends and start early and finish late each weekday. However, low stakes live hold'em cash games absolutely dominate with almost all tables being dedicated to no limit hold'em cash with blinds of around $1, $2 USD equivalent, although it arguably plays higher since you're able to buy in for up to 300 big blinds. A $2, $4 table gets going most weekends, but usually only the one. No joy if you're a pot limit Omaha player with no cash game PLO tables running at any time during this review. If you're a tournament player, however, there is still hope. You'll want to plan your trip during one of the Asian Poker Tour event series that run at Newport World Resorts throughout the calendar year. While Newport World doesn't run tournaments in-house, the APT is an attractive draw, a highly professional outfit with events boasting large guarantees and solid tournament structures. We'll leave a link to the APT website so you can see when the next event series is scheduled to run. Overall, PRR rates the game options three stars. This middling rating reflects the fact that cash games are being run at all hours and good tournaments are available at specific times of the year. However, if you're into Pogu's non-hold'em variants or play at higher stakes, you're unlikely to be satisfied. Three, service and experience. In addition to its location, the service at Newport World Resorts really sets it apart as an outstanding poker venue. Filipinos are renowned for their hospitality and Newport World Resorts absolutely lives up to the stereotype. From the moment you arrive, you are made to feel a welcome guest. The poker room is situated in the non-smoking grand wing with high ceilings, comfortable seating, and large poker tables. Service staff are always attentive, alert, and present. Non-alcoholic beverages are complimentary and a limited food menu is available to order. Newport World Resorts administrators are highly responsive, opening new tables as soon as there are sufficient numbers so you won't be waiting for a seat more than 20 minutes, even at the busiest times. 
Chip runners efficiently exchange your money at the cage and uninterrupted dealers will allow you to play even while waiting for those chips to arrive. Dealers are able to pitch cards efficiently while dealing. However, strangely, only a portion of the cash tables are equipped with automatic shuffling machines. Some tables therefore play faster than others. Also, while smoking is not permitted in the poker area, many patrons seem to violate this rule in the bathroom. Often when you go in there, it'll be filled with cigarette smoke, something the casino really needs to crack down on. You may also find that in the evenings, the live show performances in the nearby auditorium are a little too loud. However, the heavy curtains do provide some sound mitigation. Finally, remember to bring a jacket because while the Philippines is consistently and famously warm, the air conditioning in the poker room can be a surprise and it's important to be prepared. Newport World Resorts comprises a full entertainment complex complete with shopping mall, restaurant food court and cinema that will keep you happily occupied between sessions. You may have some anxieties about the level of reported crime in Manila. While you should exercise normal safety precautions wherever you travel, the area around Newport Boulevard is among the safest in the country. It's an upmarket area with 24-hour security personnel visible everywhere. While things might be different in other parts of the city, you'll be perfectly safe in Newport City. There are also other places nearby of interest, such as Makati, BGC, Mall of Asia, or the Spanish era Intramuros. The one major drawback to player comfort is that at the time of recording, mandatory mask wearing remains in place indoors throughout the Philippines. Some may consider this a plus because the government has been successful in containing the spread of disease. However, others will find it onerous to be wearing masks in tropical weather several years into the pandemic. Of course, be sure to check out health requirements updates from the Filipino government because this is certain to change. Overall though, the Newport World experience is overwhelmingly positive. Four stars. Four, rake and rewards. This is yet another strength for Newport World resorts. Cash games are raked at a perfectly reasonable 5%, albeit at a hefty cap of four big blinds. This is not the full story, however. First, tipping is not expected, although tips are appreciated and something you may wish to consider from time to time. The poker room also boasts an impressive bad beat jackpot, high hand bonus that pays out several times a day and a royal flush jackpot. The casino has a rewards program wherein patrons accrue points while at the poker table. However, specifically how that works and how you benefit is pretty opaque even when logging into the members app. Asian Poker Tour tournament rake structures are likewise reasonable. However, the Philippines does impose a modest tax on winnings over a certain amount, so keep that in mind when you're playing. Given a large majority of games run by Newport World Resorts is live cash, and that these are raked at 5%, and there are many exciting rewards and bonuses, you should find this very reasonable. Even with the four big blind cap being high, you can benefit from buying in for up to 300 big blinds, meaning stack sizes often play deep. For rake and rewards, four and a half stars. Rules and quirks. Here, things get unorthodox and will definitely be influenced by your personal taste. The attitude taken towards game rules by staff is relaxed, very relaxed. On the positive side, there's great flexibility. You can buy the buttons, straddle, chop blinds, blind check, and run it multiple times. You can use your phone, and no one will bother you with wearing headphones. The emphasis is to keep the game moving and few dealers are gonna hold up the action over a blind being put in late or an obviously accidental string bed. This is supported by a highly cooperative player pool who seem to put a premium on courtesy and etiquette with few people getting overly rowdy or drunk. This is all fantastic. Conversely, this laissez-faire attitude by dealers can be taken too far. Dealers often fail to assertively direct action, resulting in players betting out of turn or mistakenly folding. Failures in process can lead to disputes, especially in all-in situations. Finally, you may find friendly players often agree to openly check down hands or otherwise soft play with each other, especially when a bad beat jackpot is a possibility. Finally, while English only at the table is a clear rule, it's spottily enforced at best you may have to insist yourself that it be enforced because again, Filipino dealers are service oriented. They're not easy in seeking conflict with players. In short, while dealers at Newport World Resorts are unswervingly polite, diligent, and professional, 
Their reluctance to be assertive with players can sometimes create more problems than they solve. In terms of quirks, Newport World Resorts has a requirement that cash game players turn up their cards in all-in scenarios, similar to the rule in tournaments. While this arguably impacts play somewhat, it is exciting for the table, especially when the bad beat jackpot is a possibility. A final rule quirk is that at Newport World Resorts, there's no such thing as a dead small blind. Instead, if the player in the small blind has left or is away from the table, the under the gun player will pay a second big blind and the normal big blind playing a small blind next on the button. It doesn't change much, but it is weird to see and can take you a while to get your head around it if you're unfamiliar. In conclusion, Newport World Resorts is one of the greatest poker destinations around for those wanting low stakes live hold'em cash games, especially in terms of location, service and rake. Newport is a beautiful and accessible part of Manila with wonderful people in an exotic part of the world. Poker Room Review therefore rates Newport World Resorts a solid four stars, a must-see poker destination in East Asia. We review new poker rooms regularly, so if you found value in this content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons because that's the only way YouTube knows that this is the case. Also, please, if you have access to any Facebook groups or poker forums, consider sharing this video and getting more views because that's the only way we'll be able to create more content. In the meantime, have you been to Newport World Resorts, formerly known as Resorts World? If so, what did you think? Is there anything that I've missed or recommendations you'd like to make for others? I'm sure they would appreciate it if you leave a comment down below. If you want to check out more reviews, you can do so right now. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.